fits a Kyler Murray. It's when you talk about generational talent, like we we make it seem like you know this and we see it all the time. There's always okay, your first time, your first look, even people gotta look at you, you're gonna be able to do something. And then there's an adjustment, right? So Kyler Murray will have to face that adjustment like everybody does. It's even like Patrick Mahomes. You know coming in this year, there's going to be an adjustment. Mm -hmm. Of course. Because that's what it is. And I'm just trying to say, so far we just saw, I think, I don't think he threw a ball past 10 yards or whatever in the first game. And we'll see how that plays out if it's just quick little passes. He, or they, he's not going to have any time. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> or they allow him to, you know what I mean, yeah. fire it up and throw it downfield. Um, so I'm just, I, I would rather take a wait-and-see approach yeah. at him, not because he's not talented, but because I think... Uh, people will make an adjustment. I don't believe that people are going to let him run all over the place and, you know, attack the quarterback and, and open up these things for him to be able to slip through and run for 40 yards. If you don't have a spy or somebody that sticks there on him to try to make sure that this guy doesn't do that because that's a big part of his game. You know what I like? The, the phrase under promise and over deliver, right? Hey, we're hosting Undisputed this week. We're going to have fun. But you know behind the scenes, we're like, we're going to crush this. We are going to have the great topics. We're going to have interesting sparks of debate. And I just wish Kime would have done that. Under promise with Kyler. Don't say he's generational, okay? He had 17 starts in college. The other two small quarterbacks, Russell Wilson and Baker Mayfield, they had 46 college starts. They've been around the block multiple times. They've seen many defenses. These guys were ready to deliver when they came into the league. I just don't know that Kyler Murray right out of the gate. Now, week one, he might shock the Lions because they're not going to have seen any of this stuff. Going forward, you I saw think what it's Sam gonna... Darnold did to the Lions. Uh, Sam Don Liz Darnold, did right? up. Yeah, well, Sam Darnold's a bunch better. No, player. but I'm just saying what he did in his first game. Yes. So, uh, Greg, generational talent. He's not in the realm of, uh, you know, some of these guys. Aaron Rodgers is generational. He's not. Talent. That's not what he's saying. I, I was waiting on one of you to start well, comparing. Well, him I'm to looking all for these generational guys. He... Mike Vick was not a generational guy. Excellent quarterback. Awesome talent. Incredible at Virginia Tech. I saw him live many times. He works here at Fox. But he wasn't a generation. No, we, Mike Vick didn't have the career that Kyler Murray did in college as far as throwing the football. He Running the football, yes, but throwing the football, no. Mike Vick will tell you that himself. But when you watch Kyler Murray, everything that he does jumps out at you. That's why you can jump out here and say, this is, this is, this is like someone coming out and saying, uh, you know what, Kyler Murray, he's going to be an okay player. You know, we... we you're under, pro you under don't want to say promise. okay it's better than okay. We're very excited about the exactly. offense. And my, what my point is exactly. But the moment he starts to have success, and then year two he has success, and year three, everybody, you know what everybody starts to say? Man, we knew coming out of college he was going to be a generational talent. And if he, he was going to be excited. And if he fails, what do they say? He'd kind they of say gone we, by Thanksgiving. And they say, we told you so. Like, all the teams that wouldn't even entertain. I mean, this is, well, this is the risk. Explain to him that they traded up for Josh Rosen last year. Right. Traded up for a guy they love. I'm not And now they just dump him. I am him. not at all defending Steve Kime here. Let me make that clear. I'm not defending him at all because he have he has made his share of strikeouts and he probably will continue to do that. But right here, right now, with this pick, Kyler Murray, it fits what they're trying to do with Cliff Kingsbury and where they're going. You talk about the struggles of the offensive line. You, a quarterback that can elude tackles, that it can extend plays, that can get outside of the tackle box and then still keep his eyes downfield, but have the dual threat capability of running the ball, that solves a little bit of that problem. It doesn't solve it completely, but it solves a lot What's of that. What's his biggest weakness when you, when you look at Kyler Murray coming into the NFL? What would you say, like, his Ex biggest... Probably experience, right? I mean, is 17 it, is it, is starts. It, well, but, but that, but I'm just saying, like, like when you look at his game, is there anything that you, that you say? The only thing that I can sit here and say that stands out is his size. Okay. Is his and I can't I can't say that that's gonna work against him because he's proven otherwise so far so far he's proven otherwise but will his size catch up to him possibly and get some uh, some passes knocked down yes it, all quarterbacks get uh, passes yeah. batted down if, but if you think back to that Alabama game uh, in in uh, last year college football he looked overwhelmed early in the moment it looked too big for him I think it was twenty eight nothing like before you snap your fingers but. 
in the second half, I saw a lot that I liked out of Kyler Murray. That spirited comeback, that Alabama defense loaded with future pros. And Murray looked very, very good running and passing. I, I, I don't want to come off as a hater. I know people think because of Antonio Brown the last couple days, I'm a hater. I'm not. I, I like Kyler Murray a lot. I do believe, as Rob said, generational talent is such a big label to put on a guy. It is a big label. And it's it's not helping his cause. It, it's a big label, but when you know you have a guy that has big shoulders and broad shoulders and can stand in that spotlight and deliver, you don't. it's not big enough for Kyler Murray because he didn't say it. He didn't say it, so he doesn't have to live up to something that someone else says. He's going to be who he is. So I'm not concerned about that. He All he has to do, he's won over that locker room. He has, he has stepped in right away and taken the leadership role, and it hasn't been so much of a vocal thing. It's been what guys have seen. Patrick Peterson has come out and said, this guy is amazing. I like what I'm seeing out of him. He can make every throw. He can run between the well, hashes. Greg, and let me just, this is NFL talk, and you know this. The real story would be if one of the players say this guy can't play. <laughs> Everybody's great. Everybody, when they're drafted, I'm yet to hear any player ever say, Very you, true. You, right? Very true. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I, I that's say, what you got to do, step up. I, Daniel Jones is now uh, <laughs> the greatest quarterback ever with he's the Giants. He's generational. I, exactly. I, I might be. You know what I mean? So when I hear that, I just pump the brakes because teammates are supposed to I say. get it. I want to touch on something you said about the Alabama game and Kyler Murray yeah. and him being overwhelmed in the first half and all of that. First quarter, yeah. First quarter, whatever you said. The difference there was you have one guy in Kyler Murray who is all everything going up against an entire team of Alabama first, second, third round NFL players. The star receiver was hurt. Like, you, Brown, can't, yeah. you can't do that. You, there's no way you're going to beat them with just yourself and no I'm not going to say no talent, but lesser talent in against Alabama. an Alabama school. It, it, that's 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 just not fair. So for you to even throw that well, out no, there... Well, no, there was a generational talent who did that in the title game. His name is Trevor Lawrence. All right, let's move on. Is it true that Tom Brady is on the decline? We'll discuss that, and don't forget, you can check us out every day on the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. We'll be right back.